Hello friends, welcome back to Online Chalkboard. We are dealing here with Chapter 2 Polynomials of Class 10 CBSE. And yet, and so far, we have seen how to represent a zero of a polynomial graphically. And today, we would be learning what is the relation between coefficient of a polynomial and the zero of the polynomials. In the first class, I told you, if for a linear equation, the zero of the polynomial is equal to negative of the constant term by coefficient of x. Today we will be learning about the quadratic equation, what would be the relation between 0 and the uh, coefficient. And if you haven't seen the previous video, the link is available in the description box. And this is the first time if you are watching this channel, just to subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you get the notification for the further updates of this video. So let's get started. In class 9, you learn how to find the zero of a quadratic equation. Remember, like um, by using the split in the middle term method, x square minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Suppose this is a quadratic equation, quadratic polynomial. You need to find the zero of the polynomial. Suppose this be a polynomial, p of x equals x square minus 5x plus 6. We need to find the zero of the polynomial for this such that p of x is zero. So you see, you will use the split in the middle term. How is it done? You will have to split this middle term in such a way that when you add those two numbers, you will get the sum as minus 5 and product of those two numbers is 6 into the coefficient of x square. So it should be like, you, you must find two numbers p and q such that p plus q is equal to minus 5 and p into q is equal to 1 into 6 that is equal to 6. So for this you need to see the factors of 6. It can be written as 1 into 6 then 2 into 3 or it can be written as minus 2 into minus 3 or minus 1 into minus 6. Now you will see the terms. Uh, you see 1 plus 6 is 7, 2 plus 3 is 5, minus 2 plus minus 3 is minus 5, minus 1 plus minus 6 is minus 7. So the numbers which satisfy product is 6 and sum is minus 5 is this, minus 2 and minus 3. So I will write this as x square minus 2x minus 3x plus 6. Now we will factorize it like x square, I can take x common from these two terms, right? And I will get x minus 2. Then if I see these two terms, I can take minus 3 common. I will get x minus 2 again. So this becomes x minus 2 if I take common. From first term, the left is x. And the, from the second term, the remaining is x minus 3. So I got p of x is factorized into x minus 2 and x minus 3. For p of x to become 0. Either of them should be 0. If p of x is the polynomial, if p of x to become 0, this means this must become 0. That means uh, a product of two terms is 0 only when one of them is 0 or x minus 3 equals 0. Therefore, x equal to 2 or x equal to 3. Therefore, we got the 0 of the polynomial x square minus 5x plus 6 is 2 and 3. You can substitute 2 square minus 5 into 2 plus 6, 4 minus 10 plus 6 is 0. 3 square minus 5 into 3 plus 6, 9 minus 15 plus 6 is also 0. So these are the two zeros of this polynomial. Now our question is, what is the relation between the zero of the polynomial and coefficient of this polynomials? Moving into the relation between this, let's recall for ax plus b a linear polynomial, zero of the polynomial x equal to minus b by a, we said that it is negative of the constant term by coefficient of x. This is what for linear polynomial, the zero of a polynomial is negative of the constant term by coefficient of x. We need to find the relation between uh, zero of a polynomial of a quadratic equation. For this, 
we'll find we'll find suppose sum of the zero of the polynomial that is equal to 2 plus 3 equals 5 you know uh, if I say coefficient x by coefficient of x square negative of coefficient of x by negative coefficient of x square coefficient of x is minus 5 here coefficient of x is minus 5 so minus 5 negative of that is minus 5 uh, coefficient of x square is 1 I will get minus of minus 5. So I understood that sum of the 0 of the polynomial is also 5 and negative of coefficient of x by coefficient of x square is also 5. So from this we can say sum of the 0 of a quadratic polynomial is equal to the negative of coefficient of the pol of x of the polynomial as divided by coefficient of x square. Similarly let us look product of the zeros. Product of the zeros. I will get 2 into 3 equals 6. Similarly, just see constant term by coefficient of x square that is 6 by 1 equals 6. So, product of the 0 of a polynomial is equal to constant term by coefficient of x square. To make this more clear, let us do one more example. We need to find the 0 of the polynomial using uh, value of x such that this becomes uh, this called polynomial becomes 0. We use a split in the middle term. We need to find two numbers such that the sum of those numbers is 5 and product is 3 into minus 2 minus 6. So my 3 into minus 2 equal to minus 6. We need to find P and Q such that P plus Q should be 5 and P into Q should be 3 into minus 2 minus 6. Now I will see this can be written as 1 into minus 6 or 1 into minus 1 into 6 can be written as minus 2 into 3 or 3 into minus 2. Now we look into each case sum of this is minus 5, here sum is 5, here sum is 1, here sum is sorry, here sum is minus 1. So in each case uh, the, sum, the, the condition which satisfies sum should be 5 and product minus 6 is this one. So I can split it as 3x square minus x plus 6x minus 2 equals 0. So, from the first two terms, I can take x common and I will get 3x minus 1 plus in the two terms, I can take 2 common and I will get 3x minus 1 equals 0. Taking 3x minus 1 common, I will get x plus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, 3x minus 1 equal to 0 or x plus 2 equals 0. x equals 1 by 3 or x equals minus 2. These are the roots of this polynomial. Suppose I will call the root to be, suppose the root is alpha and beta be the roots. So sum of the roots is alpha plus beta equals 1 by 3 plus minus 2 that is equals 1 by 3 minus 6 by 3 that is equal to minus 5 by 3. Alpha into beta is equal to 1 by 3 into minus 2 product of the roots equals minus 2 by 3. Now we need to compare. Okay. Alpha plus beta is equal to minus 5 by 3. That is equal to negative of the coefficient of x. That is minus b divided by this is actually in the general we can write ax square plus bx plus 2 equals 0 sorry plus c equals 0. 
So the coefficient of x is b, negative of coefficient of x is minus b by coefficient of x square minus b by a. Coefficient of x square minus b by a minus 5 by 3. Now product I will find beta equals minus 2 by 3 that is equal to constant by 3 right constant term by coefficient of x square that is equal to c by a. So in general we can say sum of the 0 of a polynomial is equal to minus b by a and product is equal to c by a or negative of coefficient of x by coefficient of x square or product is equal to constant m by coefficient of x square. This is in general true for any quadratic equation. Now let us move to example 2. It says find the zeros of the quadratic polynomial x square plus 7x plus 10 and verify the relation between zeros and the coefficient. You need to find the zero of the polynomial x square plus 7x plus 10 using factorize it you will get x square plus you need to get the product of those two numbers as 10 and sum as 7 so 5 into 2 is 10 and sum is 7 so I can write 5x plus 2x plus 10 equals 0 so taking x common from the first two terms I get x plus 5 2 common 2 into x plus 5 equals 0 and I get x plus 5 into x plus 2 equals 0 that means x plus 5 equal to 0 or x plus 2 equal 0 x equal to minus 5 or x equal to minus 2 so I got the roots of this polynomial 0 of this polynomial is minus 5 and minus 2 now we need to verify the relation here in this question a is equal to 1 b is equal to 7 c equal to 10 I need to verify that and here alpha is equal to minus 5 and beta is equal to minus 2. I need to verify that alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. Alpha plus beta is equal to minus 5 plus minus 2 is equal to minus 7. Okay. Is it and what is b by a? Minus b by a negative of the coefficient of x by negative coefficient of x square minus 7 by 1 that is equal to minus 7 therefore I got alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a that is done. Now, now I will see what is the product of the coefficient product of the zeros minus 5 into minus 2 that is equal to 10 now I check c by a equals c constant term divided by coefficient of x square is equal to 10 so therefore alpha plus beta is equal to c by a hence verified instead of writing coefficient of x I have just taken it out a b c it's clear from this hence we have verified this now come to example 3 page number 30 find the zeros of the polynomial x square minus 3 and verify the relation between the zeros and coefficient we need to find the zero of the polynomial x square minus 3. You know, this is of the form a square minus b square. You know, a square minus b square can be written as a minus b into a plus b. So, if you see, this can be written as, this polynomial can be written as x square minus root 3 square. Hence, that is x minus root 3 into x plus root 3. So the 0 of the polynomial would be values x minus root 3 equal to 0 or x plus root 3 equal 0. So I will get x equal to root 3 or x equal to minus root 3. Here in this question alpha equal to root 3, beta equal to minus root 3 and a is equal to 1, b is equal to 0 and c is equal to 3. I need to check whether it satisfies the relation alpha plus beta is equal to root 3 plus minus root 3 I will get it as 0 minus b by is also 0 by 1 equals 0. So I got here alpha 
alpha and beta Greek letters which we are using to denote the zeros of the polynomial is equal to minus b by a that is negative of the coefficient of x. We don't have a coefficient of x here that's why it's 0 divided by coefficient of x square. Now alpha into beta root 3 into minus root 3 that is equal to minus 3. Here, here we need to see c by a. c is constant term that is minus 3 by coefficient of x is 1 that is also minus 3. So we got here product of our zeros is equal to c by a that is constant term by coefficient of x square. Hence we prove that it satisfies the relation. The example 4 asked us to find a quadratic polynomial if sum and product of the zeros are minus 3 and 2 respectively. In this question, we have been given the sum and product of the zeros of this polynomial. And we need to find out the polynomial using this. We have given sum, that is, sum, let the zeros be alpha and beta. The sum is given as minus 3 and product is given as 2. We need to find the polynomial ax square plus bx plus c. So that means we need to find what is a, what is b, what is c. Okay. And uh, these are the things given and this is what we need to find. Okay. So uh, we know from this we know alpha and beta is equal to minus b by a and also it is equal to 3 by 1. So if I compare this I will get from here denominator a is equal to 1 minus b is equal to 3 that is b is equal to minus 3. So I got a and b from here and alpha beta is equal to c by a equals 2. 2 means 2 by 1. So from here also a is equal to 1 this implies c is equal to 2. So I got a 1 b minus 3 and c 2. Therefore a quadratic polynomial is quadratic polynomial we just have to substitute the value of abc in this a is 1 into x square plus b is minus 3 into x plus 2 or x square minus 3x plus 2 this is the required quadratic polynomial whose solution whose sum of the solution is minus 3 and product is 2 we have learned how what is the relation between uh, the roots or the zeros of the polynomial and the coefficient and we learned uh, to find uh, the roots as well as the quadratic for quadratic polynomial using the uh, sum as well as the product. Now we see just for the knowledge let's see if uh, there is a quadratic a cubic polynomial ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d this is the general form of a cubic polynomial. And suppose alpha, beta, gamma be the zeros of this polynomial. This will have at most 3 because the degree is 3. 3 different polynomials. So what is the relation between the zeros and the coefficient? So we can see alpha plus beta plus gamma in sum of uh, the zeros of this polynomial will be minus b by a. That is negative of the coefficient of x square by the coefficient of a. Now the next thing comes the product, sum of the product of two zeros alpha plus beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha means taking a product of zeros two at a time that would give you c by a which is the coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x cube. Last is the product of all three zeros that is equal to minus d by a which is negative of the constant term divided by the coefficient of x square. This is not from the exam point of view, just for you to know. Okay, so we can wind up for today. We actually discussed today what is the relation between zero of a polynomial and, and the coefficients of the polynomial. So, and based on that, we uh, solved few questions and we understood how to find a polynomial using the sum of the uh, sum of the zeros and product of the zeros. In the next class, we will be discussing the exercise question. Exercise 2.2 will be discussed in the next video. If you are having any doubt, you can comment in the comment box and if you find it useful, do share this with your friends. Thank you. See you in the next video.